Chapter 2, Tears of Rain. Right you got home, it took a while for the impact of her father coming back to soak in. She was hot, red with anger and sadness. She decided to train in the garden with her teacher, Inuyasha. He wasn't full cat demon like Raichiru, he was also part dog demon. They both had fangs and sharp animal-like eyes, and in those eyes were a hint of love for Rai. Rai-chan, he said, I've been waiting a long time for you. How did the battle go? My dead father! He is back! Her face collapsed in her hands, and she nearly cried. How can he be back? He's dead! No! He's back! I don't know what to do. Maybe I can get our master of the Yakuza to kill him. She had a tear roll down the side of her sad cheeks. Her and Inuyasha both worked for the Yazuka, and she thought he might be able to frame her dad. I don't know if that'd be allowed. His ears twitched. Then I will have to kill him myself. Her eyes turned red with madness, like blood on fire. Inuyasha didn't want her to get hurt. He was worried. He couldn't tell her, though, because he didn't want her to know his feelings for him. Please, he said, don't go. He'll kill you. She looked at him bravely. I'll be fine. That night she went home. Denmark was sitting on the couch next to the fire. He was reading a book very intensely. I see your home, Rikon. Yeah, I'm home, Denikon, she sighed. I saw you talking to Inuyasha. I think you should get a different tutor, like Kagome or Germany. They're both so good with wars and fighting. Why? Are you jealous? You don't have to be, I swear. I'd never cheat on you. I love you. Their eyes told each other that something was wrong, but they both ignored it. They decided to just go to bed instead of saying anything. They cuddled together and did some other stuff. Then they fell asleep. And as they slept, her dad was watching. Inuyasha is owned and created by Rumiki Takahashi. Well, hey, I'm big in Japan.